I really, I love, mm, I love, I love this coat. I love this coat. Well, hello and good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Um, I thought today I should do a good video, a good old video on just styling. And I thought, because I, I miss doing a good styling video, and I thought it'd be good to do one about um, just like winter coats, winter clothes, styling winter clothes, period. It's February. We're still in winter. Spring is slowly knocking on the door, but we still got to get rid of that winter, man. It's still here. And um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we've already like got through the bulk of it, but it's still hanging on. And if you're getting to the point where you're like, <sighs> I have no clue what to wear, this is the video for you. I want you to get inspired. This is, uh, I love this knit. I've been really into like sleeveless knits. Comment below if you've been into them, because. I'm sorry, I'm downstairs and I just have to, I miss that. Michael stomach just growled. We're about to eat now. We have been buying food from HelloFresh now for three, this is our third year. And this video, this part of the video is in partnership with HelloFresh. We are actually partnering with them throughout this year, once a month. Cheesy smothered mushroom chicken with mashed potatoes and roasted carrots. Well, that sounds pretty. Yeah, um, absolutely delicious. I think this is one of my favorites. This is the kind of meal you eat when it's really cold outside and the snow. Look at this. Look, look. Hold on. Look, 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 look. Look. This is why you eat stuff like this because of what it looks like outside. I personally don't want to be traipsing to the supermarket in this snow. I'd rather have the convenience of just having the food come straight to us. And also look out for some really quick and easy meals. Like they do ones which is like oven ready, which is exactly what it says. And they do ones also, it's like literally about 20 minutes. So there's, they have very quick turn meals. I mean, the average is about 30 minutes. Before we were so bored, we were just cooking the same stuff all the time. And, and it just made us just have a lot of more variety. Is that what do you think? Just the whole variety aspect of it alone. Yeah, it taught us how to cook. Exactly. <laughs> Pre precisely. No, and then also they do different um, options. So they've got low calorie, carb, smart, veggie, vegetarian, pres pescatarian options. What's mm -hmm. pescatarian actually? Fish. Well, you eat fish? Yeah, fish. Only. We have them coming three times a week, but you can decide the frequency and also just, just pause maybe, maybe you're going away or for any reason you just need to just stop the meals coming you can do that and then when you're back for whatever reason you can just resume them again nine times out of ten i never cook everything that i have bought and it just means that there's just a lot of wasted food so i like the fact that you know the hello fresh pre-portions out the ingredients so you use every single thing that is given to you so it's less prep and then there's less wasted food that's actually a good point because it is what? It's less waste of food. Yeah. Because you know, you're cooking everything and there's nothing like, you know, the worst thing that you can do is like buy more than what you need and then the rest of it just sits in the fridge. So you use half of what you buy. Right. And you know, it's not good. I do have a code, I always do. Go to hellofresh.com and use my code 10 Karen Richick. I'll leave on the screen as well. They give you 10 free meals, including free shipping. Also, HelloFresh has donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020. So it's continuing to, you know, just step up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. Guess what we forgot. <gasps> what? Oh my God, there's carrots as well. Oh, but this is the best bit. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, so we are gonna go and eat and don't forget my code, go to hellofresh.com and use my code 10 Karen Britchick to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna eat and we can go upstairs. Okay, um, yeah, I know, I've taken my clothes off almost, haven't I? Okay, so this is the winter outfits inspo. I'm not gonna take too much longer. I'm just gonna get stuck in. It's kind of like a lookbooky type of video, a little bit of chatting here and there, and a surprise moment. There is a surprise sort of halfway through-ish, you'll see an amazing find that I found from a thrift shop. And I included it in this, of course, I included it in this video. How could I not? All right, so I'm gonna get stuck in and put some clothes on and just sit back, relax, and get some winter outfit inspiration. 
Styling tie-dye loungewear. I think all of us have been guilty of this in the past year. I know I have. I thought team it with a knit. You can crop it if you want. Just tuck it under your bra, leave it undone. This is a, such an easy way just to dress it, to go outside, add some docks, just something that's really like anchors and you know pairs the black with the black from the top part of you as well. I added the puffer. This makes, makes the look feel much more like even more casual, right? And I did it in black because you've got the black accessories. I added a black bag because of the same reason, but also you could switch to blue because I love the sky blue picking up in the pants, wear it crossbody to keep it casual. Playing with red. So I picked this skirt that I've always loved, um, Ralph Lauren, and then I added this white hoodie breaking it up right the winter white hoodie casual with the red skirt makes it less formal right then bung on these welly type of boots knee high very chunky sole you know how i like them <laughs> then i added this statement coat it's red obviously bright red it's actually a men's coat i found at a thrift shop and i love the play of having something really long solid right color wise with the checked skirt added a white bag obviously just to break up that um red then i changed i thought no i can think of, i can think of something better than this and i did with this boxy short jacket men's thrifted this is more karen loved it in fact i love this so much i actually went outside in the snow in it so it was perfect <laughs> Throw in some winter accessories, black gloves, you see, because I've got the black accessories going on. And yeah, this whole look, this is very me, very Karen. I love the breaking up of the red with the white and um, just breaking up red in general with wearing checked. Let me know if you try this look below. Okay, styling statement coats. So I thought I would start with like just black tracksuit pants, something that we can all relate to these days. I threw on these glossy kind of patent chunky boots. I love these. These are from Prada and a Uniqlo polo neck. I talked about these polo necks from last season. I think last year I love their polos. Here is my statement coat. It is this checked coat from Bell Staff. I love this. It's reversible, nice and loud, um, but it's tempered, right? Because everything I'm wearing underneath is neutral. So I added the camel bag, you know, I love camel and tan anyway. This is the Kelly bag that you saw from my unboxing video last week. Um, I love that it has a strap as well, so I can obviously wear it on my shoulder. And I picked camel because I like the fact that it's um, a really nice complement with that green, right? And also obviously against the black. Also the color picks up slightly on the polar neck. Right, now to add some uh, different shape and silhouette and texture, I threw on this oversized V-neck sleeveless knit. I love sleeveless knits. I have a, a few of them now. I'll link some of my favorites below. And then bung on the statement coat. See what I've done here? It's just added another layer, a bit more interest. Everything feels very soft too, right? The tracksuit pants, the coat, the, the scarf as well, adding more layers. But again, it's adding some veg visual interest. Everything ties together. You've got the pop of the camel bag. Love it. Styling cool and neutral. I kept on my Uniqlo Heat Tech leggings, that's what that was. Bunged on um, a pair of trousers. These are men's thrifted as a part of a suit that I got from a thrift shop. And then I added another Uniqlo polo neck. Ta-da! <laughs> then I added these boots. These are by Bottega, but you can add any kind of white boots. There's loads, and I just linked to a few below. And I bunged on this faux shearling uh, maxi length coat. Um, I love this coat, but again, but this is all about neutral, cool tones. I normally don't wear that. But the cream adds that warmth and then just add a charcoal, uh, chunky scarf to it. The crossbody bag is just to add some more, um, sort of picking up on the colors from the coat and from the boots as well. And it contrasts really nicely with the dark elements. OK, 
Okay, so trench coats, how to make them feel laid back. I switched out the boots. You're gonna see why I switched to black because I wanted to echo the colors of the top, which is quite a statement. And I wanted to wear boots, which are a bit more subtle this time. So this one's by Gani, it's leopard print. I love the print on this. It's just, oh, it's so, so good. Look at that. Just already that juxtaposition of that leopard print with that tailoring of the trousers and then the coat. I have got to pause the video right here and show you the moment that I found this amazing, amazing, still got my tag on it, thrift shop find Christian Dior trench coat. Men's insert mini shopping vlog here. Oh my God, this is really good. I love it. Look how tiny it makes your waist. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Let's go to the bottom of it. Hold on. I'm going to put you down here. So this is how I style the Dior coat here. Um, I layered it over this the Gani leopard print top. I love the play. That's what it is. Something so structured and quite formal as a trench layered over um, a leopard print like this. Take it back. I love how um, strong this looks here with the belt. So I thought this was such a cool way. And then I just slightly opened the coat. The pockets on this trench are so deep. I love it. This, the cut, the shoulders, it's so square. I just love this trench. <laughs> Have I said love enough? <laughs> So with the trench, I like the idea also of almost wearing it like cardigan jacket style, just opening up deliberately um, and just having the belt just to cinch the waist in. You can put your pockets, hands in your pockets. You know, it just really creates a style moment and then add like a little black bag, just something very simple, right? And then I switch to this Gucci bag because I love the print, the color of it, right? It keeps everything very neutral, quite soft and the play on the different prints from the bag and from the leopard. I love stuff like this. Then I picked another bag, the Chanel, the quilted. Um, and I did that because it's echoing the black like from the boots. That's something that a trick that I always tend to gravitate back to. So you're not wearing too many colors in one look. Obviously you can take a trench belt and then tie it, probably the classic way, right? Just to tie the belt itself into a knot. Yeah, I love this look. Let me know which is your favorite, by the way. And of course, take a black scarf and you can layer that over. Adds another element, right? Another design element, but it's functional. It keeps you warm at the same time. Then I tried it around my waist, the scarf. Didn't quite work though. <laughs> e for effort right here. It's just too uh, bulky. It would be better if I just used a black skinny leather belt or maybe a statement black leather belt. Mixing camel hues. So I started off with my trusted Ulla Johnson pants. I love these cargo pants. Um, the color, the cut is everything. Um, Uniqlo, I think this is Uniqlo, this tan polo. And then I added these um, boots. This is by Sam Edelman, these white boots. You guys have seen them before my other videos. I, I quite like the idea of it, but not quite the color. Con the contrast was too big with the pants. So I switched to my trusted high height Converse's. You guys know how much I love these and you guys have told me you've bought them and love them. They're so good, right? So I thought I liked the casualness of these and the darkness, right? So that's why I added them. And then I layered on my infamous camel thrifted men's coat that I found over a year ago now. And I just like the echo of the knit of camel with the coat and the juxtaposition of the softness and casualness of the pants with the tailoredness of the coat. And then again, I added the Kelly bag because of another layer of camel. Camel is a neutral color. It goes with anything, just like white, almost with like black as well and then to add some more texture i added a massive chunky scarf again another hue of camel and it's just playing on smart and casual at the same time 
this is to me is such a great easy look that a lot of you can pull off just look at things that sort of already got in your wardrobe and comment below let me know which one you like the best five looks to wear for the winter the spring stuff will slowly start and in fact it already slowly has to trickle in but it's still cold out I'm sorry just it still is it's there's literally snow outside as I hope that you got some ideas on like what to wear when it's winter time what are your favorite type of coats to wear actually let me know in the comments your favorite type of coats to wear is it puffers is it shearlings is it leather is it just like a straight structured wool coat? I'd love to know what do you tend to gravitate to coat wise? For me, I'm a magpie. I've always said that on my channel. I like to just hop between all different types of coats. That's what I love. It's just the mixing and playing with different outerwear. I hope that's the kind of inspiration that you got from this video. And if it is, then do give this video a thumbs up. And speaking of, I need to head out now. Um, I'm gonna wear this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna sod it. I'm gonna show you what I'm, this is what I'm probably gonna wear. The sun is out, it's not too, too cold. Even though the snow is out, it's one of those days where it's like, I call it ski weather. You can wear sunglasses because it's really bright, but it's not like freezing, freezing. So I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear my leather vintage trench coat. This, the one that I said that reminds me of a shaft. It's so good. You guys have seen this already. I love, I love, I love this coat. I love this coat. And have a good weekend. As I always say, you can follow me on my Instagram. It is Karen Britchick. I'll leave the a little bit of my feed right here. And my name is on the screen as well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week, Friday. Between now and then, obviously, I'll see you on Instagram. But yeah, let me know what you think of the dual coat, though. The men's thrifted one. What do you think? Isn't that good, right? Not bad. Anyway, I'm gone. <laughs> talking about this now um i'll see you guys next week friday in between now and then i'll talk to you on instagram <laughs> i do the most bizarre signs um yeah i'll see you then bye